Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Strength for Today. And this is day five uh, of our series on a centurion's faith. So let's look at what we're going to look at today, a rewarded faith. And let's read a few verses from verse 10 of chapter 8. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to them that followed, Verily I say to you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And I say to you that many shall come from the east and west, and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Jesus said to the centurion, Go your way, and as you have believed, so be it done unto you. As you have believed, so be it done unto you. And his servant was healed in the selfsame hour. And here we've just read that Jesus says, because you've believed, so be it done to you. And he was rewarded for his faith. His centurion, sorry, his servant was healed. Now, God loves to reward faith. In Hebrews 11, verse 6, we have a verse which on the one hand at the start, it tells us that without faith, it's impossible to please God. But then it balances it up at the end of the verse and it tells us and we're encouraged that God rewards those who diligently seek him. I want you to think about that just for a little second. It doesn't say that God rewards those who diligently seek the reward. Think about it. But it says he rewards those who diligently seek him. It's so easy when we're praying for something in faith to get more obsessed with the thing that we're praying for than seeking God himself. There's a saying that is used um, about people who are seeking the baptism of the Spirit. Sometimes they're encouraged that, uh, to, to think about this, that it's more important to seek the giver than the gift. It's more important to seek the giver more than the gift because when we start to get obsessed with the thing that we're praying for and seeking, we get into all sorts of bother. Um, you know, we get we become complicated, we get sophisticated, we our doubts come in and, and why isn't this happening now and different things like that. We get obsessed with the reward, with the gift, instead of the giver and trusting him and looking to him. Seek first the kingdom of God, said Jesus, and his righteousness and what? All these things shall be added to you. Seek the giver more than the gift. Abraham had been promised a great reward, a great promise by God. A son in his old age and consequently Abraham was going to become the father of all nations. Now Abraham, we're told, had great faith concerning this. But he did have a little blip uh, in the middle of all of that. For he and Sarah tried to get ahead of God. They seemed to think that this promise was a bit long a common. And they tried to help God out. Do you ever try to do that? And what they did is they produced an Ishmael, a fleshly uh, son, not a son of faith. And, you know, Ishmael became a problem, a source of trouble to their family, not because of him, but because of what had happened. When we get our eyes more on the promise than the reward, we end up doing fleshly things like Abraham and Sarah. And the Ishmaels that we produce only bring trouble to your lives. Keep your eyes on the giver. Diligently seek him. He will reward you for your faith in due time, in his time. I want you to see also that God is no respecter of persons when it comes to rewarding faith. Here we see that Jesus says that he has not seen so great faith, no, not in Israel. Of all the Pharisees and the religious Jews and, and all of uh, that, here was a Gentile, a Roman soldier, who was displaying more faith than anyone Jesus had encountered, encountered in Israel. Israel was steeped in history uh, of seeing a God do great things for them. They had great reason to believe in God, to have great faith. They had seen the Red Sea opened. All these great stories had been passed down to to the people of Jesus' day. And yet with all this history, 
It was a Gentile, an outsider, who displayed the greatest faith. Now this was really a rebuke for the Pharisees. These men who were so full of the law, so full of knowledge, so full of religiosity, and yet this simple Gentile has a greater faith. Now, folks, this can be also a rebuke to us, the church. So often we see people getting saved who have very little upbringing in the things of God, the very little knowledge of the things of God, and yet they get saved. They knew nothing about faith, really, until they got saved. They knew nothing of the Bible. And yet when they get saved, it seems that they have greater faith. It seems that they have a greater radical faith to see things done for God. Because they have just drunk in the truth like a child, like, like a child with childlike faith. But yet those of us who are brought up in these things, so often we struggle with all our baggage of religiosity, of traditions, of knowledge. And we are slower to believe God in faith many times than those who have just drunk in the truth, who don't have all the knowledge that we have. They seem to have a more radical faith. And so God is no respecter of persons. He simply rewards childlike faith. It doesn't matter what your past was. It doesn't matter if your knowledge is only new of God and minimal. God rewards those who diligently seek him in faith. No matter your background, your upbringing, your race, your gender, your age, your past. God rewards faith. Here's the challenge for today. As we seek uh, different things through faith, maybe we realise that we've been becoming obsessed with the actual reward, with the gift, with whatever we're seeking God for. Let's determine today to seek the giver more than seeking the gift. To seek him first and all these things will be added unto us. I hope that this week we've been encouraged to have a radical faith on day one, not just a faith to get us through, but a great uh, faith that believes the impossible. On day two, we saw that we should have a, a raw faith, a childlike faith that simply takes God at his word. Then we saw a reasoned faith that backs up our faith with the truth of God as contained in the scriptures. And then a resilient faith that perseveres despite the obstacles that are in its way. And today, our reward of faith as we diligently seek him more than the, the reward. Trust you've been encouraged this week. Uh, join with us next week, God willing, uh, as Barry comes. Uh, Barry is part of our online prayer team and he's part of our uh, evangelistic team. And we're looking forward to hear what Barry has to say to us next week. So tune in for that, God willing, nine o'clock, Monday to Friday. Thanks for watching and may God increase our faith.